So today we're going to do a tutorial on how to paint X-Wing minis. This is just going to be a basic tutorial about how to add some personal flair to your squadron. I'm going to be using Apple Barrel Black uh, regular black acrylic paint and then I'm going to also be using folk art metallic gold paint and then in the end I'll be doing a wash with uh, Citadel's Nuln Oil. So when I'm painting X-Wing minis I don't typically like to prime the mini beforehand unless I'm going to do a full repaint but for the most part I just add little touches here and there and like and make little changes. So the first thing I'm going to do here is grab a little daub of paint and uh, I only like to use a little drop because I don't want to waste very much and I really don't like to put very much on my brush. When I uh, saturate my brush I try to wipe a little bit off, a little bit of the extra off because if you have too much paint on there it gets down into the recesses and the details and then you lose a lot of that detail. Once I get all of the black painted and I get a nice base layer, um, you have to let it dry so that the paints don't mix when you add the next coat. So you can see here from the black portions kind of the direction that I'm going and the pieces that are going to be turned to gold. And again, I'm not trying to do a full repaint. I just want to make it so that it, my ship looks like my ship when I come up against another squadron. So we'll let that black dry and then we'll add the gold. For this I'm using folk art metallic gold. You kind of have to shake it up a lot and uh, a lot of the time you'll have to do multiple coats with it because of the way it goes on and how uh, translucent it, it really is. With the black where I wiped a lot of the paint off with the gold, I kind of keep a little bit more in terms of saturation on my brush um, just because of how thin it is and how much it takes to cover. But you still don't want to do a thick layer, you want to do multiple thin layers.
So you can see that the black really makes the gold um, show up very nicely. One thing to remember when you're painting the gold back over, you don't want to get it too thick on there on your first pass because you want the you're going to not want to lose the black base coat in some of the crevices and edges and under pieces so that you can still retain those details, even though you're gonna go back over it with a wash. So after the gold dries, I'm gonna throw on the Citadel Nuln Oil Wash. I like to shake this up, it's extremely thin, it's mostly water. Um, I have tried mixing my own washes, but I didn't find that it turned out quite as good. The, the surface tension of my homemade wash just wasn't the same, so it didn't cover as well as I would like. One thing I like about the Citadel paint pots is that it holds the paint right here on this little lip. When you dip your brush into the wash, I'm using a filbert, and you want to soak up a bit of the wash, but then take some of the excess off. You want to have enough that it will cover but not pool in the detail areas causing like a uneven finish. And I just like to coat the entire model in the wash so that everything looks even and comes out the same tone. Washing goes very quickly, um, but you do have to let it dry and because it's so watery, it takes quite a bit longer to dry. So once it dries, we'll go back and add some of the highlights back in. I'm also using my filbert here, and this is similar to a dry brushing technique. It's not, I'm not wiping as much of the paint off on the paper towel as I had, as I would have if I were dry brushing. Uh, this is more of like a, a highlight technique. You, re you really want enough paint on there so that it really brings that shine back on the gold. You can really see the difference here on the side without the shine and the side with the shine painted back in. So just go, I'm just going to go over the whole model uh, everywhere that I feel like the gold needs to be brought back up in terms of brightness. And that's pretty much it. So you can see it's extremely easy to add just a little personalization to uh, your X-Wing models. And um, don't be afraid to try it. Don't be afraid to get a little bit sloppy. Don't be afraid to mess up. You know, it doesn't really matter. And it, it's really not ever wrong. Just make sure that it looks good to you and that you can have an emotional investment with it. That way you uh, love your ships even more. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay on target.